Just a sec. Oh. Uh, now. <sighs> what are you doing, John? Uh, I I'm about to go on an airplane, but I only have room for one more thing in my toiletries bag. Oh. Yeah. And you're trying to decide between these things? Yeah, it's either the toothpaste, the deodorant, the hand sanitizer, or the toothbrush, or the enormous sheet cake. I'm sorry. What was the last thing? Oh, the toothbrush? No, 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 the other last Oh, thing. the enormous sheet cake. Yeah, it does look good, but I, I think I'm going to need my toothbrush. Yeah. You know what? I think I've narrowed it down to two. Yeah. It's either the toothbrush or the enormous sheet cake. Huh. Yeah. John, come on. There's an obvious choice here. You're right. It's obviously the toothbrush. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You of want... course it's the enormous sheet cake. <laughs> All right. Just enough room. Here we go. Yeah. Uh-huh. See? Folds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get that in there. Yeah. Oh, my Listerine fell on. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's about right. It opens. Okay. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Good call, buddy. It's a good cake. Welcome to another exciting, totally mesmerizing, world-changing, award-winning episode of the So and So Show. We won an award, didn't we? No. Oh well, then everything we said except the award. I'm Brandon, and I'm John, and we are in the midst of planning a trip. That's right, we're going on a road trip together. Yeah. We're gonna see the sights here, there, and everywhere. Yeah, and the cool thing is, we are perfect travel buddies. We know mm -hmm. each other's travel habits. Yep, and they mesh together perfectly. Uh -huh. For instance, the the best candy to eat while road tripping is. Beef jerky. What? Beef jerky? That's not even a candy. Yeah, it is. It's meat candy. No, never say that again. Well, that's the only thing we disagree on. Oh. Uh, for instance, our favorite game to play in the car is oh, hide, hide and spy. seek. Hide and seek. We're in a car. How do you hide? <laughs> it's, just, it's easy. You it's... Just... See? You can't find me, Brennan. <sighs> Brennan, are you looking for me? So dark. Brandon. 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 John. Brandon! We're oh! Wow, that was really scary. You are a lousy seeker. You know, I'm starting to wonder if we can actually travel together or not. <sighs> Maybe we should find out. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Virtual Let's play reality game travel box. simulation. Yeah, we got both our ideas smashed together. I thought we were thinking the same thing. This car is not to scale. If we can't travel in a car this tiny, then we can't travel together at all. Okay, fine. So what are we doing? Okay. <clears throat> so here's how we're going to play the game. As we travel in our car. Cardboard box. An announcer will throw out a question and we have to answer it. The more we get right, the more likely we are to enjoy our time traveling together. And the more we get wrong, the more we should never be near each other in a confined space. Sounds perfectly scientific. Oh yeah, and you should play along too. <laughs> All right, let's play. Question number one. When traveling in a car, who prefers to drive? A, Brandon, B, John, C, autopilot. Well, obviously. Me? What? Come on, switch seats, I'm driving. You, but switch wanna... seats. No, no, I'm driving. Fine. How do we, can't. Which seats? Oh, oh. Okay. Ow. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> Question number two. Which of these snacks does Brandon prefer to eat on a road trip? 
A. Chips. B. Candy. C. Whole raw onions. Oh, well, I don't really care as long as it isn't the uh... whole raw onions, baby. No. Oh. No. I, oh, I can't stand onions. I can't. Why? No. They're so. Oh, there's no window. Question number three. What is John's choice in travel music? A. Pop music. B. Polka music. C. Orchestra warm ups. Please, please be polka. Please be polka. Please be polka. Question number four. No! Huh? No! Sorry! No more questions. We can't go on a road trip together. Oh, yeah? Well, I was thinking the exact same thing. You and your onions. Yeah, you and your weird music. Oh, yeah? You and you! Yeah! Wait, no! How do I get out of this I car? I don't know. There's no doors. I'm out of here! Oh, well, that, well, that... Ah! <laughs> Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, fellas. Hey, hey um, what's up? Nothing, Kellen. What's up with you? Question, why are you sitting so far apart? Ah, uh, because we drive each other crazy. Oh, well... That's normal. Yeah. Well, most of the time, you guys seem to be a really good team. I mean, you're practically brothers. Yeah, that's true. Some, sometimes it feels like we do share each other's socks. Well, listen, today's lesson is going to be a perfect reminder for the two of you. It's from a letter that was written to some of the first followers of Jesus. See, after Jesus rose from the dead, lots of people began to follow him. But... After some time, they started having some trouble deciding on what it meant to follow Jesus. You may know this letter as the book of Hebrews in the Bible. And here's what I want to share from it. Let us hold firmly to the hope we claim to have. The God who promised is faithful. Let us consider how we can stir up one another to love. Let us help one another to do good works. And let us not give up meeting together. Some are in the habit of doing this. Instead, let us encourage one another with words of hope. I can't think of anyone who could help us understand that verse better than our very own encouragement duo, Dee Dee and Jackie, the cheer squad. You ready, Dee Dee? Well, I got a question for you. <laughs> You're so funny, Dee Dee. What makes us a great team, Dee Dee? I agree. Um, hey, excuse me. Oh, yes? Jackie, it's great to see you. But where is Dee Dee? Oh, well, we decided to try our own solo cheer careers, Kellen. Oh, I didn't know that. But I can still do a cheer for you. Oh, sure, that would be great. Take it away. You ready, Dee Dee? Well, then I got a question for you. <laughs> You're so funny, Dee Dee. What makes us a great team, Dee Dee? I agree. When we are together, when we are together, our faith is stronger. We shine like we should. E-T-H-E-R can do great works. E-T-H-E-R spread hope with our words together. Hey, that was, yeah. that was different. You know, I just realized it's hard to cheer about being there for one another when I'm alone. I bet. Well, it's still great. 
Hey, do you mind if I check in with your sister? Oh, no problem, Kellen. Um, hey, Dee Dee, you around? Oh, that's me, Kellen. Oh, great. Say, I know you're trying the solo yeah. thing now, but I was wondering if you could help me out. Oh, you bet. I was wondering if you have a cheer about this verse from Hebrew. Okay. Let us hold firmly to the hope we claim to have. The God who promised is faithful. Let us consider how we can stir up one another to love. Let us help one another to do good works. And let us not give up meeting together. Some are in the habit of doing this. Instead, let us encourage one another with words of hope. You got something? Do I? I'm ready, Jackie. Uh, I've got an answer, Jackie. <laughs> I know. Well, together we, we, we could share God's love, Jackie. Oh, let's go. Can help each other. We can do more good. We are together, faith stronger. When we are together, T O G T H E R, brothers and sisters. T O G E E R, brothers and sisters. Together. Huh. Okay. Um, hold on a second. Hey, Jackie. Oh, still here, Kellen? I have an idea. Since you two are trying out your solo careers, I was wondering if I could set up a collaboration. Collaboration? Yeah, it's like a mashup, if you will. A mashup? Yeah. I just get the sense that the two of you will help each other out. So why don't you cheer the cheers you just cheered? Okay. You ready, Dee Dee? I'm ready, Jackie. Well, then I got a question for you. Then I got an answer for you. <laughs> You're so funny, Dee Dee. I know. What makes us a great team, Dee Dee? Well, together we can share God's love with others, Jackie. I agree. Let's go. When we are together, we can help each other. When we are together, we can do more good. When we are together, our faith is stronger. When we are together, we shine like we should. T-O-G-E-T-H-E-R, brothers and sisters. We can do great works. T-O-G-E-T-H-E-R, brothers and sisters. Spread hope with our words together. together. Woo! That was perfect. You see what happened there? When Jackie and Dee Dee tried to do their own thing, it was okay. But it wasn't as great as it was when they were together. When we as Jesus followers decide to spend time together, work together, and cheer each other on, God shows up in the middle of it. And you know when God shows up, amazing things will happen. What do you guys think? That's cool and all, but well, what if you meet someone you want to spend time with, but you have differences? Or even disagreements. Hey, that's going to happen. But if we take the time to encourage one another, love one another, and place our hope and faith in God together, it can help all those differences fade away. God's love is powerful enough to hold us together. And that's what it means to be the church. Remember, the church is more than just a building. Good point. Yeah, man. Uh, hey, thanks for the lesson, Kellen. Anytime you need another one, you know where to find me in this pleasant yet still unexplained bubble. Cool. See ya. John, I have a confession to make. You ate my sandwich. No. Okay. Even though we have our different traveling habits, when we spend time together, we always end up talking about some amazing stuff. I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah. I... When we hang out, I always walk away feeling like a better man and a better follower of Jesus, too. Ditto! Trip back on. Trip back on! All right, let's go! Hey, hey, before we leave. Oh, yeah. 
Reveal the question. Who has encouraged you? Yeah, yeah, who are the people in your life that encourage you? Yeah, these are the people you can share anything with and ask questions about God with. Basically, people who care about you and have your best interest at heart. I know someone who encourages me and, and loves me even though I have some annoying habits. I bet we have the same one. You think? Uh-huh, the person who encourages me the most is... The, the lady, lady at the, the dentist, dentist office who sets up the appointments with my hygienist and always tells me I have a nice smile. <laughs> yeah. Until next time, I'm John. I'm Brandon. And this was the So, so and so, so Together. Okay, right. The So, so and, and So Show. show. We do this all the time. I know. The so, so and, and so, so show. So and so. Show and show. I can't even say it. This was the show, show and show. show no. So. Oh no. <laughs> no, that's it's don't. No, it's good. We're good. Okay. What if we just say goodbye? No. Oh. It's just, it's just this. Yeah. All right. Together. Together. Oh. <laughs> See, you had room for your toothbrush. Oh, uh, that's great. Yep. Thank you. No problem, buddy. All right. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs>